Hey, welcome to my ring crafting guide. Going to be here showing you what we have done through 1299 ring crafting. 83 ring crafting on this account, but I have easily done 99 on another one right now. But I'm going to go through a step through of how I did it. The only viable method I really have done throughout the process was the Warnia Altar, or CMI for short. Which is what I've done from level 1 to 77 when crafting. Right now I'm wearing the optimal setup. I normally would have replaced this with a Dragonfly Shield. You can either wear the dust bow staff or the mystic dust staff, it doesn't matter. Plus this great sword, you could probably replace the cape with the hip horn skill cape if you wish to. Now, shown here I have about thousand of each cast you'll need, which is NPC contact, a one year teleport. Well, it's been about a thousand to make sure I really have enough for the duration where I'm at semi. Now, you'll notice that I have all the expensive runes and pouch. The dust bow stuff with the mist is dust stuff is useful because it gives infinite air runes and infinite earth runes. Now, for this teleport, you normally need to talk to this NPC right here. Go through the chat log, select option 2. It doesn't show up for me right now because I've already unlocked it before, but it's definitely on option 2. Once done, you can teleport to the altar. The reason why there are so many people running through this altar right now is we are on the optimal world for it, which is world 327. It's labeled Orania Altar, that's the main world for it. Normally, you will also bring once the money potion, but we're just gonna go through this without it because it's only gonna show case one trip. On how I to do it. The reason why this is popular is because Nazi like the risk of getting hit or even killed is very very low with this. Much people are still be focused on other people or NPCs at the time. Now, as we were at the altar, so gonna go ahead and mid runes. Now, I tried to. Empty the pouch, the bigger pouches first, as they hold the most essence. Because all the runes you end up crafting are very random, and you don't know which one you'll be crafting. They'll just be there. As for the rune crafting pouches, you can un unlock them at, you can obtain them at any rune crafting level, but you won't be able to use them until a certain level. Small pouch you can use right away since it has a level 1 requirement. Medium pouch has a level 25 requirement. Large pouch has a 75, no, it has a 50 requirement, and the giant pouch has a 75 requirement. So once we're finished at the altar, we just teleport right back and run all the way back where we came from up to this point where we have to bank and take our more runes. This is here this is where the air runes stack comes in handy. You'll be cashing twenty per bank. Having a good chunk of that it means that you can bank a lot more on a misclick and all that if you ended up misclicking in this case all that then you will just bank it bank 
all of them in wherever slot and then take out more of these and you're up you go, go now I wouldn't recommend doing this every run but maybe every 10 runs you will do an NPC cast NPC contact select dark mage now like wait a little bit go through the chat log and you'll have to select second one which is can you repair my pouches now this one really only applies to this one or this one I have never seen the other two break so you'll be at least 50 room crowded before you have to cast that spell so there's that and that's it for the Avania Altar. I did that one to 77 crafting. As for the other ones, I've done it in a specific way. We're going to swap out the Dust Bow Staff with Room Pickaxe. If you have a mage skill cape, you can take that out and swap to the spell book, the other spell book. And you'll be needing The chisel right in this slot, the blood rune in that slot, and you'll be replacing that room pickaxe here. Since I only used up the home teleport animation for the guy for the Orania altar, I'm gonna go ahead and Just gonna go ahead and head to an, a fairy ring. Something like that. The catch here is that it's actually trickier to go to the required spot to start than you would expect. So, I'm gonna actually place the lunar stab right there for right now, and just gonna show you the other way you would be able to head to the other spot. Normally, you would be using the home home teleport on this one. The very green code is CIS. It's going to be a very long one, so please bear with me. The monuments are usually useful here, but have a higher GOT level, which you actually do require level 73 of GOT. 
Do I can pick guys is also optimal, very recommended, but I'm using Boom Pick as an example. And of course, you will require 77 ring crafting at least for this method. Is yes, this is the shortcut you'll be running back through for this method. We're going to be, I'm going to be showcasing how blood wounds and soul wounds are going to be done next. You see these dance wound stones, you'll be mining two inventory loads of this and we'll show how that is done. You'll also be receiving a small amount of crafting money XP, so might receive a few levels of either along the way to 99, which is certainly possible, depending on what level you started at. Like I said, barely have to change the setup except for versus the staff and the pickaxe, which you don't even need the staff anymore at this point. And you don't need to be on Lunars either, just this spell book. This method is far more away from keyboard friendly than CMI Altar will ever be. I will personally guarantee that. I, I went through quite a few incredible levels without actually realizing it myself. When I say that, you know, it's like it's going to take a while to, to get those, but the only time you would not be AFK in this method is for two reasons. One, to the Dark Altar to purify the stones or to the Altar to create the stones, uh, the wounds itself. Now I have a full inventory. I will explain why the chisel is in this slot in a moment. I will run back up this shortcut. That is 73 agility. That is the 73 agility shortcut. Very recommended you have that. Otherwise, you have to run all the way around, honestly. Now, this is the dark outer where you purify these. Say, dark as a block now. Now the chisel comes to play here because you're going to, have to chip these dark essence block. You can do it on the way back to the stones or right at the stones. Either either way, how you would like to do it. So that was one inventory load because it cannot hold barely many more than that amount of fragment shards. So we're gonna have to save the next door until we all get to the altar. And I'll explain why that is. Once I get the second inventory load here.
this is like the best way anyone could have gone 99 Runecraft in any way aside from CMI well CMI there's a fun fact about the CMI altar it was the best method to 99 when crafting back in 2007 so it's the actual best method and we have blood wounds and soul wounds in this area which makes it more relaxing and worthwhile to get so you don't have to so at least we're fortunate that we don't have to run through that whole thing again ever. The other method was very quick intensive is lava runes. Personally don't recommend that because it's one is click intensive. The runes for the spell you would be using is a lot more expensive than the other two I combined I have sewn and three ring of duelings add up pretty darn fast. So that is why Urbania Altar is the best all the way up to 77 no matter what. And this is the best way up to 99 aside from semi if you don't want to continue doing it. Now we're on the second load back to the altar. This one, I'm going to show you how to go to the Blood Altar. This is also another long one, but you'll also notice that at the same time that you won't actually be running out of run energy, and I'm not even using Stamani Potions, so like I said, they're not required, but it can be somewhat recommended if you don't actually care about the inventory space at the time. Now we just arrived at the blood altar. You'll deposit the first stack of dark as a fragments. See, that's quite a bit of chunk of VXP for that. Now, we'll. The reason why the dark as fragments won't do it all the way is it caps up 113. And that first inventory gives us 100. So, we would do this for another similar amount. So that's why it has to be done in two toys due to the cap of 113. Now we'll just run back to the dense rune stones with another shortcut. It would be this one. Folio, there we have it. That was a blood room run right there. Now, I'm going to, sh I'm not going to mind this, but right now, but I'm going to show you the path to show out time, though I'm not 90 room crafting on this account yet. So, for the soul out you will be doing the same steps I did for the blood out except. Right after you arrive at the Dark Altar, which is right here as I showed you, for Soul Altar, instead of going west, we'll be going east this way. The Soul Altar has a. I think it's a longer run than the Blood Altar because we're going to be running around like 
around a cliff. That was the case. And usually that is actually the same thing. You won't be running out of run energy normally on this path. And minus that NPC. And not like that one matters. But as I said, we're going to be running around the cliff. And it'll be at the very top. Like, mega top. All the way up. It'll be all the way up here. This is where you'll be doing this if you're in 90 plus room crafting. Otherwise, you can keep doing blood runes because they're worth twice the amount the soul runes are. Versus, soul runes are better EXP per hour, so, matter of a GP or XP at that point. This one also has a shortcut. Located further from the altar, so you'll be running more, so that's, that's why not really that viable sometimes it's pretty far up you'll be jumping that border and then you'll be back the same way and to the dense stones and there you have it there's both pathways for both altars from 77 to 99 when crafting. I hope you enjoyed this guide and you have any questions don't hesitate to ask PM or give me some feedback it will be very appreciated. Hope you enjoy.